Love. Quotes and passages from the heart. 1. Family. It all begins with family. The first love we feel is from our mothers, even as she carries us. A family grows around us. Love is in many combinations. There are individuals from the first father, brothers, sisters, grandparents, uncles, aunts, cousins, maybe in our own sons and daughters down the road. A big brother standing up to a bully, sister putting on some makeup, grandparents spoiling the kids rotten. The love we get from our family is our rock. Our mother's love for a child is nothing else in the world. It knows no law, no pity, and it dares all things and crushed down remorsefully of all the strands in its path. Mother's love has been much maligned, and an overmothered boy may go through life expecting a new woman to love him the way his mother did. Her love may never ever, the love may ever, when never seem inadequate, but an unloved boy would be even more likely to idolize love. I don't think it's possible for a mother or a father to love a child too much. Unconditional love is loving your kids for who they are, not for what they do. It isn't something you will achieve every minute of every day, but it is the thought that we must hold in our hearts every day. The most important thing is a father can do for his children is to love their mother. Where does the family start? It starts with a young man falling in love with a girl. No superior alternative has yet been found. Of course you act like your kids. If you love them from the moment they begin, you yourself begin all over again, in them and with them. You can see them alongside the shuffleboard courts of Florida, on the porches of the old folks' homes up north. They are in love. They have always been in love, although sometimes they've denied it. And because they've been in love, they survived everything in life that could throw at them, even in their own failures. In family life, love is the oil that eases friction, the cement that binds closer together, and the music that brings the harmony. Family love is messy, clingy, and annoying in repetitive patterns, like bad wallpaper. In truth, family is what we make it. It's made strong, nor the number of heads counted, nor the dinner table, but by the rituals from which you help family members create, by the memories you share, by the commitment of time, caring, and love you show to one another, and by the hopes for the future that you have as individuals and, pos and as a unit. A mother discovers with great delight that one does not know where one's child can because with delight that one does not love one's ch children just because they are one's children, but because of them friendship formed while they started raising them. The family is the country of the heart. There's an angel in the family who is by the mysterious influence of grace and sweetness and in love renders the fulfillment of duties less wearisome, sorrows less bitter, the only pure joys unmixed with sadness. Smile at one another. Smile at each other. Smile at your wife. Smile at your husband. Smile at your children. Smile at each other. It doesn't matter who it is and that will help you grow up with a greater love for each other. No man has ever lived that land enough of children's gratitude or woman's love. No man has ever lived that had enough of children's gratitude and woman's love. I take my children everywhere, but they always find their own way back home. Happiness is having a large, loving, caring, close-knit family in another city. The real question isn't whether or not you love your kids, but how well you're able to demonstrate your love and care to them and to so that the children really do feel loved. The last step in parental love involves the release of beloved, the willing cutting of the cord of the world otherwise kept a child in a state of emotional dependence. So, if you have a grandma, thank the good Lord above. If you give your grandma hugs and kisses, for grandmothers are to love. Oh, I love to see a man with a cigar. Reminds me of my grandfather. Morning, night, he used to sit with a great stogie dangling from his lips. Oh, the hours we used to spend sitting up laughing, playing with the yellow whisk whiskers beneath his nose. And he'd take his teeth out, cigar them, and chase them around the room. We'd all laugh and laugh, and suddenly Grandpa's mood would change. And then we'd all have to run for our lives. We can't buy those memories like that. Children begin by loving their parents. After time, they judge them. Rarely, if ever, do they forgive them. It's my pleasure that my children are, my f are free and happy and unrestrained by parental tyranny. Love is the change whereby to bind a child is to its parents. Perfect love sometimes does not come until the first grandchild. The reason grandparents and grandchildren get along so well is that they have a common enemy. We never know the love of our parents for us till we have... We never know the love of our parents for us till we have become parents. Chapter 2. Friends. One of the greatest truths in life is that while you're stuck with your family, you can choose your friends. There's a difference of love that flesh and blood cannot guarantee. The love of a friend who knows you, doesn't judge you, and will be there for you no matter what. True friends are never just friends. 
To have a good friend in the pursuit of God's gifts is to love and to have no exchange of payments, and not inherited as with a family. It is not compelling with a child, and has no means of physical pleasure as with a mate. It is, therefore, just an indescribable bond that brings with it a far deeper devotion than all the others. A friend is the one who knows you and loves you just the same. The best mirror is an old friend. A friend who holds your hand and says the wrong thing is made, a dearer, is made of dearer stuff than the one who just stays away. All you'll get from strangers is surface pleasantry and indifference. Only someone who loves you will criticize you. Friendship is the perfection of love. It's superior to love. It's love purified, exalted, proved to be experienced and consented of minds. Love, Madame May, love does often stop short of friendship. With true friends, even water drunk together is sweet enough. Greater love has no man than this. The man laid down his life for his friends. If there ever comes a day when we can't be together, give and keep my heart and keep me in your heart and I'll stay there forever. Can miles truly separate you from friends? If you want to be with someone you love, aren't you already there? Friendship is certainly the finest balm for the pangs of disappointment love. Sympathy constitutes friendship, but in love it's a sort of anti antipathy or opposing passion. Each strives to be the other and both together make up one whole. There's nothing worse. There's nothing worth the wear of winning but laughter and the love of friends. Friendship marks a life even more deeply than love risks degeneration into obsession. Friendship is never anything but sharing. All love that has not friendship for its base, it's like a mansion built upon the sand. Platonic love is a fool's name for the affection between disability and the frost. Platonic love is the love from the neck up. Friendship is love minus sex and plus reason. Love is friendship plus sex minus reason. Love is blind. Friendship closes its eyes. Friendship is love without the wings. Friendship is a serious affection, the most sublime of all affections because it's founded on principles, cemented on time. The very reverse may be said of love. In great degree, love and friendship cannot substitute the same bosorn. Even it's inspired by, in, by its different objects. The weak can destroy each other, and for the object, the same can only be felt in succession. The vain fears and fond jealousies, the winds which fan the flame of love, with judiciously the artful temper the both incompatible with the tender of confidence and sincere respect of a friendship. Get a life from which you are not alone. Find people you love and who love you. And remember that love is not leisure. It is work. Accountability and friendship is the equivalent of love without strategy. Between men and women, there's no friendship possible. There's passion, enmity, worship, love, but no friendships. Between men and women, there is no friendship possible. There is a passion, a worship, a love, but no friendship. When men call friendship no more than a partnership, a mutual care interest, an exchange of favors, and a word, it's sort of traffic. It's with self-love ever, ever proposes to be the gain it. The more we love our friends, the less we flatter them. It is by excusing nothing the pure love shows itself. So long as we are to serve, so long as we love by others, I would almost say that we are indispensable, and no man is useless while he is a friend. Friends often ends in a love. Friendship often ends in a love. But love in friendship is never. But love in a friendship, never. When we hurt each other, we should write it down into the sand, and the winds of forgiveness can make it go away for good. But when we help each other, we should chisel it in the stone, lest we never forget the love of a friend. Winning has always meant much to me. By winning friends, that has meant the most. Friends show their love in times of trouble, not in happiness. Life is to be fortified by many friendships. To love is to be loved in the greatest happiness of existence. 3. Beginnings By some people, falling in love is a physical sensation. It's implied by the phrase, we're falling and we're going to feel something that we hit in the deck. Even though it's sustained effort and it takes place of initial madness and it makes love last, we still hold on to that new love feeling as long as we can. The youth with the fierce cigar makes himself sick. A youth with the first girl makes everybody sick. Love at the first sight is easy to understand. It's when two people have been looking for each other for a lifetime and it becomes a miracle. Love is what happens to a man and woman who don't know each other. To love deeply in one's direction makes us more loving in all others. No, this trick won't work. How on earth are you ever going to explain the terms of chemistry and physics to important biological phenomenon of first love? Love is the flower of life, the blossoms unexpectedly without law. It must be plucked where it is found and enjoyed in the brief hour of its durations. First love is kind of a vaccination. It saves a man from charging in complaint the second time. At the touch of love, everyone becomes a poet. Love is like a quicksilver in the light in the hand. Leave the fingers 
open and it stays, clutch it and it darts away. Love is a madness, if thwarted it develops fast. Love is like, wa is like war, easy to begin but so hard to end. Falling in love consists merely of uncocking the imagination and bottling the common sense. I have learned not to worry about love, but to honor its coming with all my heart. I believe in love, but I don't stir around waiting and sit around waiting for it. What is ir irritating about love? That is to crime that requires an accomplice. I cannot fix an hour or the spot or the look of the words laid a foundation. It is too long ago. It was in the middle before I knew I had begun. Many people had then fallen in love and looked for a little haven of refuge of the world where they could be sure of being admired, where they are not admired and praised, where they are not praiseworthy. The art of love is largely the art of persistence. In an extra divided when you like the girl you've fallen in love with, in an extra divi dividend, it, it, it is an extra dividend when you like the girl you've fallen in love with. You can't buy love. But you can pay heavily for it. How delicious is the winning of a kiss of a love's beginning. Love is the deep well from which you may drink often, but into which you may fall but once. We don't believe in a rheumatism, in true love until after the first attack. Sweet love of the youth, forgive if I forget thee. While the world tide is bearing me along, sterning desires other hopes beset me. Hopes which obscure but cannot do thee wrong. I was nauseous and tingly all over. I was either in love or I had smallpox. Love is like an hourglass with the heart filling up and the brain empties. Gravitation cannot be held responsible for people falling in love. Love doesn't just sit there like a stone. It has to be made, bred, remade all the time, made new. Man reaches the highest point of a lovability by 12 to 17 to get it back in a second flowering at the age of 70 to 90. Love is a smoke raised with the fume of sighs. Being a purge of fire sparkling in a lover's eyes. Being vexed, he nourished with others' tears. What, it, what is it else? A madness most discreet. A choking gal and preserving sweet. 4. Companionship. Books upon books upon books could be filled with the variations of Ambrose Bierce's aphorism on love. That is a temporary insanity curable by marriage. Love is not an and antithetical to marriage, of course, marriage itself is a legal entity. The companionship of two people, infinitely, more than a piece of paper. It's a state of mind. It's a challenge. It's a commitment. It's all defined by love. And if you want to read about love, marriage, all you've got to do is buy two separate books. When you are in love with someone, you want to be near him and her all the time, except you are out buying things and charging them to him. A Happy marriage is a long conversation which always seems too short. We are not the same persons this last year's last, nor those we love. It is happy of chance of us changing, continue to love changing, to be a love changing person. The first duty of love is to listen. You don't marry someone you can live with, you marry someone whom you cannot live without. Behind every successful man is, surpri is a surprised woman. Love is an act of endless forgiveness, a tender look at what becomes a habit. The most brilliant achievement by my ability is to be able to persuade my wife to marry me was the most brilliant achievement of all my abilities. Sexiness wears thin after a while and beauty fades, but to be married to a man who makes you laugh every day, ah, now that's a real treat. Marriage is not a ritual or an end. It's a long, intricate, intimate dance together and nothing matters more than her own sense of balance and your own choice of a partner. Love does not consist of gazing at each other, but it's in looking outward together with the same direction. Love is composed of a single soul inhibiting two bodies. The married of the first men I... I married the first man I ever kissed, and when I tell you this to my children, they just about throw up. Love. Two minds with a single thought. Tenderness emerges from the fact of two persons, longing in all the individuals do to overcome the separatenesses and the isolations to which we are all, because we are all individuals and we can participate in a relationship that is, for the moment, it's not for two isolated selves, but a union, a union of one. A recently read from the love of entirely the matter of chemistry that we must, why my wife treats me like a toxic waste. You can't put a price tag on love, but you can, you can on all its accessories. When you love someone, all of you saved up wishes start coming out. No man is truly married until he understands every word his wife is not saying. To get the full value of joy, we must have someone to divide this worth. The whole world loves a lover. It is interesting theory, but a very bad legal defense. They say love is blind and marriage is an institution. Well, I'm not ready for just an institution for the blind just yet. I think men, men who have a pierced ear are better prepared for marriages. They have experienced pain brought by jewelry. 
A woman can forgive a man for the harm he does her, but she can never forgive a man for the sacrifices he makes on her account. An archaeologist is the best husband a woman can have. The older she gets, the more interesting he is in her. So heavy is the chain and wedlock that needs to two to carry it, and sometimes three. In older times, sacrifice was made of the altar, a custom which is still continued. Keep your eyes wide before the marriage, half shun afterwards. In the race not love, I was scratched. Marriage has no guarantees. If that's what you're looking for, then go live with a car battery. To keep the first burning brightly, that's one's easy rule. Keep the two logs together enough to keep them warm enough to keep you far apart in the finger's breath in the breathing room. Good fire, good marriage, same rule. Look for the sweet person and forget rich. Love seems the swiftest, but the slowest of all growths. No man and woman really know the perfect love until they have been married for a quarter century. One of the silliest lines I've ever heard was in a film of Love Story 1970's immortalized phrase, Love means never having to say you're sorry. There's a few people who would actually want more to life to share with someone who's held the concept near and dear. True love comes quietly without the banners of flashing lights, and if you hear bells, better get your ears checked. Infatuation is when you think he's sexy as one of the main stars, but years later to still find him that way. Without love, what are you worth? 89 cents? Ni 89 cents worth of chemicals? Walking around lonely? Love is the magician that pulls a man out of his own hat. Love is like a friendship caught on fire in the beginning of the flame. It's very pretty, often fierce, but still only lighting and flickering. And as love grows older, the heart matures, and our love becomes like coals, deep burning and unquenchable. To waste time looking for the perfect lover instead of creating a perfect love. Men love because we're afraid of themselves, afraid of loneliness that lives in them, need someone to whom they can lose themselves as smoke loses itself in the sky. When you realize what you want and who you want to spend your life with, and that somebody you want the rest of your life to start as soon as possible. Being in love is something like poetry. Certainly you can analyze it and expound the senses of intentions, but it's always left over, mysteriously hovering between music and meaning. We are so fond of each other because the ailments are at the same. When I eventually met Mr. Wright, I had no idea that his first name was always... What is there a veil of life, half and delighted as a wife, when friendship, love, and peace combine to stamp the marriage bond divine? Marrying my love, be it risky, but to be honest, as God can help but do anything but smile upon it. Love is immoral, even with the legal marriage, but marriage is immoral without love. A virtuous wife is a man's best treasure. A wife is a joy to a man's heart. What, what kind of hell is this? A low cholesterol meal? Happy Valentine's. Are you trying to kill me? If I was going to kill you, I'd use my hands. I thought I was in love once. Then once I thought I'd be just in the inner Im imbalance. When love is strong, a man and a woman can make their bed on a sword blade. But if love grows weak, a bed of 60 cubits is not even large enough. Of all the paths lead to a woman's love, pity is the straightest. To see her is to love her, and to love her forever, for nature made her of what she is, and never made another. We to live in the love together through the many changing years from which we shared of the gladnesses and wept in each other's tears. Being in the therapy is great. I spread an hour just talking about myself, spent an hour talking about myself. I felt like a guy on a date. Whenever you want to marry someone, go have lunch. Whenever you're thinking of marrying someone, go have lunch with his ex-wife. I sold my memories of Love Life Parker Brothers as if I was going to really make a game out of it. I have learned only two things are necessary to keep my wife happy. First, let her think that she's having her own way. Second, just let her have it. Polit politics don't strange bedfellows. Marriage does. Someone asked me why women don't gamble as much as men, and I gave them the come the commonsensical reply that you don't have much money that was true the incomplete answer is in fact women's total instinct of gambling is satisfied by marriage the secret of happy marriage remains a secret and I've given my memoirs far more than just any of any of the marriages you can't divorce a book Americans who take more marrying for love than any other people also break up more than their marriages but the figure reflects not only from much of the failure of love but the determination of people not to live without it the highest prize in the world is of man is the most beautiful woman available on your arm, living there in your heart and loyal to you. Love is what makes two people sit in the middle of a bench when there's plenty of room on both ends. The man loves his sweetheart the most, his wife the best, and his mother the longest. No woman ever falls in love with a man unless he has better opinion of him than he deserves. A better opinion of him she has for him than he deserves. The bravest thing that a man can do is love a woman. A woman has to love a bad man once or twice in her life in order to be thankful for the good one. Love is a passion, an obsession. Someone can't live without. 
what are you going to end up with? Fall ahead over heels, I'd say. I'd say find someone you can fall in love with like crazy and who will love you the same way back. How do you find him? Just forget about your head and listen to your heart. One of these things in life has taught me is how important it is to say I love you in ways to be preserved, looking at and read, with, and read when you are alone and what adversities and what circumstances bring separation. In any case, saying I love you in one of these secrets of happy marriages. Ronnie's letters, they, they write to each other over the years. The most wonderful of all things in life is the discovery of another human being to whom in one's relationship has a growing depth, beauty and a joy over the years to increase. This inner progressive of love between two human beings is the most marvelous thing. It cannot be found by looking for it or passionately wishing for it. It is a sort of divine accident and the most wonderful of all things in life. 5. Passion Passion is a manifest of many ways. When two people are in love, there's a blind madness and love can cause when young or exuberant, when they make madly in love. We also see passion when they are thwarted, turned away. The passion is played out by a sexual expression. Love between two people. Here, passion can prefigure love, support love, describe love, a signal that's most intimate, articulate for us. Love is of all the passions, the strongest. It's the attacks simultaneously, the head and the heart, and all the senses. Laws of love are the same, romantic in concepts, but the actual practice can give you a yeast infection. In my sex fantasies, nobody ever loves me from my mind. The human race has been set up. Somebody somewhere is playing a practical joke on us. Apparently, women need to feel loved to have sex. Men need to have sex to feel loved. How do we ever get started? You call it madness, but I call it love. Passionate lies in all of us, sleeping, waiting, and off unwanted, unbitten, it will, sir, open its jaws and howl. It speak to us, guided with passions, it rules us all, to obey. The other choice, what choices do we have? Passion is the source of the finest moments, the joys of love, clarity or hatred, the ecstasy of grief. It hurts sometimes, more than we can bear. It could live, we could live without the passion, maybe we'd know some kind of peace, but we wouldn't hollow. The empty turns, shuddering and dank, without passion, we'd be truly dead. There's always some madness in love, but there's always some reason in madness. Passion makes the world go round. Love just makes it a safer place. Love is an exploding cigar we willingly smoke. Love is not altogether a delidium, yet it has many points of common therewith. Love is an irresistible desire to be irresistibly desired. A kiss is a lovely trick designed by nature to stop speech when words become superfluous. Soul meets soul on lover's lips. When was the last time you heard someone say, I love you, without tagging the inevitable, if unspoken, as a friend? When was the last time you saw two people gazing into each other's eyes without thinking, yeah, right? When was the last time you unheard someone announce, I am truly madly in love, without thinking, just waiting until Monday morning? Heard the stuff like to think about when you think about love, very much stuff for the modern Manhattan relationship. I found men who didn't know how to kiss. I've always found time to teach them. People who know kisses are hopelessly lazy. People who throw kisses are hopelessly lazy. To be in love with merely is the state of perpetual anesthesia. To make, to mistake an ordinary young man for a Greek god is ordinary young woman for a goddess. Many a man in love with a dimple makes the mistakes of marrying the whole girl. She walks in beauty like in the night cloudless climbs of starry skies and all the best of dark bright meet her aspects in her eyes. Love teaches even asses to dance. Love is the only dirty trick played on us to achieve continuous of the species. Anyone can be passionate, but it only takes lovers to be silly. Sex without love is a hollow and ridiculous as love without sex. If love is blind, why is lingerie so popular? It does not matter who you do in the bedroom as long as you do not do it with the street or the frightened horses. Marriage, not out in the street with the frightened horses. Marriage has many praises, but celibacy has no pleasures. The need for sex is to clear complexion, but I'd rather do it for love. Acting is not very hard. The most important thing you're able to do and laugh is cry is to have to cry or think about your sex a life. And then you have to laugh. Well, I think of my sex life. That'll help you laugh. The big difference between sex and money is that sex is for free, and sex for money usually costs a lot less. A lover without indiscretion is no lover at all. And the pleasure of love is in loving. We are happier in the passion we feel than we are in to inspire. Happy those lovers who, from where their senses require rest, can fall back upon the intellectual enjoyments afforded by the mind. Sweet sleep, then, comes the last until the body has recovered into general harmony. On awaking, the senses are again active and always ready to resume their action. If we seek the pleasures of love, passion should be occasional and common sense continual. Love is wildly misunderstood through highly desirable malfunctions of the heart, which weakens the brain, causes the eyes to sparkle, cheeks to glow, and blood pressure to rise, and lips to pucker. Love ain't nothing but sex misspelled. 
Women need a reason to have sex. Men just need a place. Billy Crystal. Sex alleviates tension. Love causes it. I have love to the point of madness. Thar from which called madness from which to me the only sensible way to love. My wife is a sex object and every time I ask for sex she objects. Sex is a conversation carried out by other men, other means. It's as how you get well off into bed, half of the problems and better solved. I prefer love over sex. I love nothing about sex because I've always been married. Six heartbreaks. Is there any novel or movie worth its dramatic salt that doesn't include scenes that has you returned or a love faded of dying when it's taken away from the unrequited? And we can be devastated. The pain of heartbreak is all too real, but we're nothing less than resilient after time. Most of all of us will pick up the pieces and head out again. Looking for love one more time. You will never tr know true happiness until you have truly loved, and you will never understand what pain really is until you've lost it. Love never dies natural death. It dies because you don't know how to replenish its source. It dies of blindness and in errors and burials. It dies of illnesses and wounds and dies of weariness and withering and tarnishing. Love built on beauty, soon beauty dies. Love lasts about seven years. That's how long it takes for the cells of the body to totally replace themselves. I hold it true, where of befall. I feel it for the narrow moist. It is better to have loved and lost than to never loved at all. Ever have it that the love to know its own depths until your hour of separations. I am the marvelous housekeeper. Every time I leave a man, I keep his house. Love is grand. Divorce is a hundred grand. Love the quest marriage, the conquest, divorce, the inquest. I have never been one so patiently picked up of broken fragments to glue them together again and tell myself that the mending of the whole is good as new. What is broken is broken, and I'd rather remember it as it was best than mend it and see the broken places as long as I've lived. Nothing takes the taste out of peanut butter, quite like unrequited love. Happiness is the china shop, love is the bowl. An act of love that fails much of the part of the divine life is the act of love that succeeds the love is measured by fullness, not of reception. Love never dies in starvation, but often in indigestion. Have you ever been in love? Horrible, isn't it? It makes you so vulnerable, it opens up your chest, it opens up your heart, and it means that someone can get to you and mess you up. You say that love is nonsense, and I tell you that it is no such thing. For weeks and months, it is steady physical pain, aches about the heart, never leave you by night by night, long strains, serves like a toothache, theramutism, the intolerable of anyone's instant, but exhausting, it so steady drains on your strength. The greatest tragedy of life is that a man perish, but that he cease to love. The way to love anything is to realize that it might be lost. Some of us think holding it makes us strong, but sometimes letting go. Love is much like a wild rose, beautiful and calm and willing to draw blood in its defense. Trouble is part of its life, but don't share it. Trouble is part of life, but don't share it. You have to be the person who loves the enough chance to love you enough. It is not a lack of love, but a lack of friendship that makes unhappy marriages. If you love someone, let them go, and if they return to you, it's meant to be, and if they don't, let their love never return to yours. Be it, if they don't, their love was never yours to begin with. Let no one who loves be called unhappy, even love under returned is rainbow. One reason people divorce is because they run out of the gift of ideas. The mighty pain of love it is, tis a pain that love to miss, but of all the pains the greatest pain is to love, but to love in vain? How do I know the love is gone? If you said that you would be there seven and nine, and now she started called the police, it's gone. Never said telly love. Love that told can be, for the gentle wind doth both silently and visibly. I told my lover, I told my love, I told her all my heart, trembling cold and ghastly fears. Ah, she did depart. Soon after was gone from me, a traveler came by, silently and visibly, he took her with a sigh. I know that there's people who do not love their fellow men, and I hate people like that. When we lose one love, our bitter tears called forth a memory of ours from which was loved not enough. The Lord is close to those whose hearts are breaking. Heaven is no rage like other hatred turned, nor hell fury like a woman scorned. I'm very lonely now. Mary for the poor, no new friends, or the better friends of Father sends. There's no sorrow like the love divine for joy that's loved in the will. If it hurts, it isn't love. If it hurts, it isn't love. He who has never experienced hurt cannot experience true love. You know when it's all the things you want as a person, it's just to be happy, even if it's no part, even if you're part of, no part of their happiness. The heart that really loves and truly loves never forgets. The divorce is like an amputation. You survive it, but there's less of you. When two people decide to get a divorce, it isn't a sign that they don't understand one another, but a sign that they have at last begun to. The quarrels of lovers are the renewals of love. 
Lips that taste tears, they say the best for they say are the best for kissing. Though I know he loves tonight, his heart is sad. His heart is so wonderful in the dreams I had. When I love comes to an end, weakly cries efficiently, instantly find another love, and the wise already have already in the reserve. There's a sacredy in tears. There's not the mark of weakness, but the power to speak of eloquently in the tens of thousands of tongues. There's messengers and overwhelming grief, and unspeakable love. Love is a great poet. Resources are inexhaustible, but in the end it has the views of not obtained, to feels weary and remains silent. Love is never lost. If it is replicated, it'll flow back and soften, purify the heart. The heart is the only broken instrument that works. 7. Introspection. It has been said that we cannot love another until we learn to love ourselves, not this narcissist love that seeks a glimpse of itself in every mirror or shop that passes in the kind that ensures. It's the kind that ensures that we take care of ourselves first before we care about our friends and family. Not that kind. The love oneself is the beginning of lifelong romance. He that falls in love with himself will have no rivals. You love yourself first and everything else falls in line. Never pretend to love what you do not actually feel, for love is not ours to command. Perhaps the feeling is an experience from we are love representing a normal state. Being in love shows a person he, who he should be. The love of liberty is the love of others. The love of power is the love of ourselves. Love is like playing the piano. First you must learn to play the rules, then you must forget the rules and play from the heart. Love grows by giving. Love gives away and only gives to keep, and the only way to retain love is to give it away. Without love, benevolence becomes egotism. You cannot be lonely if you like the person you're alone with. Relish love in an old age. Aged love is like aged wine, becomes more satisfying, refreshing, and valuable, more appreciated, and more intoxicating. Guard yourself with the treasures, kindness known to give in the hesitations, how to lose without regret, how to acquire without meanness, how to replace in your heart the happiness of those you love with happiness that may be waiting for yourself. It is a virtue to love your neighbor as the human being, but it must be a virtue and not a vice to love myself, since I'm a human being too. Since love grows within you, so beauty grows for love and the beauty of the soul. Self-love, my liege, is not so vile a sin as self-neglecting. Out of love you can speak with straight fury. Where the Almighty's subsequent command, his first command is this, Man, love thyself. Self-love seems often unrequired. Self-love all above else is the gift to yourself. You yourself as much as anybody. Make yourself, as much as anybody in the entire universe, deserve your love and affection. The heart that loves is always young. Whoso loves believes in the impossible, except the things from which fate blinds and love is the people from whom fate brings you together. But to do so with all your heart. Have you ever been in a sea in a defense fog? In a dense fog, when it seems intangible white darkness, shut you into the great ship, tense, anxious, rope towards the shore, plummeting, sounding like the waiting with the beating heart of something to happen. It was like a ship before the education began, only if without a compass, sound light lines to knowing the near harbor was. Light, give me light, was the words of cry from my soul, and the light of the lone shone onto me. It was that very hour. Love can be understood only from the inside, as the language that can be understood only by someone who speaks it, as the world can be understood only by someone who lives in it. Eight possessions. Besides loving our fellow man and woman, many of us possess love in our own pets. Cats, dogs, other things, breathing animals, possible love things, inanimate objects from which the position to return to not even from which you ever wanted to. It could be something to eat, prime rib dinner, chocolate soda, or the best fresh corn in the season. It might be the favorite vacation spot, Hawaii, south of France, Disney World. When you love in the country, many prepared to pay the tremendous price. The ultimate price? In its name. Dogs have more than an integrity. They've been true to us, yes, but they haven't been true to themselves. Love me, love my dog. It's just the most amazing thing to love a dog, isn't it? To make a relationship with people seem to be boring as a bowl of oatmeal. The better I guess to know, the better I get to know men, the more I find myself loving dogs. Love a dog during childhood is one of the deepest and purest emotions that you can ever do. The unselfish is in your love to remember you are not your cat. There is no love sincere than the love of a food. When a man is small, he loves and hates food with ferocity, and soon dims a six-year-old very bowels with even a such a dish of creamed carrots of cold tapioca appears before him. If you sweep a house and tend to fires and fill its stove, there's love in all your years. You are doing this. Then you and the house are married. This house is yours. Love laneth long. Love lasteth long as the money endureth. Faith. 
As wonderful as the love among men, women, friends, family, unfortunately, it's not always unconditional. Even in the best of intentions, a withhold of a love, love is withheld from us, but those from with us have faith, divine love, and love from God. It's always there for us, no matter what we do, think, or say. Love means to commit oneself without guarantee to give one's completely the hope that the other will produce love and love the person, love in the act of faith, and whoever that little faith is also to a little love. Above all things, have devoted love among yourselves, for love covers a multitude of sins. Love one another and you'll be happy. It is simple and as difficult as that. Because God is love, the most important lesson He wants to learn on earth is how to love. Love is not blind. It just seems more, not less. But because it seems more, it is willing to see less. Since love grows within, the beauty grows. The love is a beauty of the soul. If you judge people, you have no time to love them. It is the curious subject of observation and inquiry, whether hatred or love to be the same thing at the bottom of each of utmost developments. Suppose that high degree of intimacy and heart knowledge each renders the individual dependent for the food of affections, spiritual life upon another. Each leaves a passionate lover, no less passionate hater forlum, the desolate by the withdrawal of the subject. Philosophically considered, therefore, the two passions, seen essentially the name except what happens to be seen celestial radiance, and the other is dusky and a lurid glow. All, everything that I understand, understanding is because of I love. Everything is, everything exists only because I love. Everything is united by it alone. Love is God, and to die means that I, particularly of love, shall return to the general of eternal sources. God is love. Paradise is always where love dwells. When we feel love and kindness towards others, it not only makes us feel loved and cared about, but it helps us also develop inner happiness and peace. Your body needs to be held and held and touched unto a touch. None of these is despised, denied, or repressed, but you have to keep searching for your body's deeper need, the need of genuine love. Every time you are able to be beyond the body's superficial desires for love, you are bringing the body home and moving towards inner integration of unity. Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord. The God from which in their hearts, with all the soul, from all their mind, this is the first of the great commandment. The second is like unto it, thou shalt love the neighbor of thyself. One of these commandments hangs on all the laws of the prophets, and the mystery of love is the greater the mystery of death. Hatred paralyzes life. Love releases it. Hatred confuses life. Love harmonizes it. Hatred darkens life, and love illuminates it. Illuminates it. Illumines it. Whether you are confronted with an opponent, conquer him with love. Time too slow for those who wait, too swift for those who fear, too long for those who grieve, and too short for those who rejoice. But for those who love, time is eternity. Nobody's ever measured, not in the poets, how much the heart can be cold and how much the heart can hold. Tell me who admires and loves you, and I will tell you who you are. I have you astonished the men could die martyrs of the religion. I have shuddered at it and shuddered no more. The martyr of a religion, love is the religion, and I could die for that. I could die for you. Bitterness imprisons life, love releases it. Bitterness paralyzes life, and love empowers it. Love sweetens it, love heals, and love anoints. The cord of cable of forcibility draws a hold of a fast, but love can do with the twine threads. I believe that life is given to us so that we may grow in love and believe in God. And for me and the sun, the color of fragrance of flowers, there's only one path to heaven on earth, and we call it love treasure is the love to receive all will survive the long of a gold and the good health that, that's been vanished love is the vital essence that pervades the paramites from the center of the circumference circumference to graduating circles of all thought and action love is the talisman of human weal and woe the open sesame to every soul it's love give all to love obey the heart tis the most tender part of love is each of the forgives each of us and each other forgives another for Never forget the three powerful resources you've always have available to your love, prayers, and forgiveness. Love blinds the faults, hatred to the virtues. Agape is disinterested love. Agape does not begin with discriminating between worthy and unworthy people. He qualifies people to possess. He begins loving others for their sakes. Therefore, agape makes no distinction between friends and enemies. It is directed towards both. Do not waste time bothering whether it's love, your neighbor, or act as you did. Just do as you find the great secrets. When you're behaving as if you love someone, you will presently come to love them. If you injure someone or you dislike them, find yourself disliking him more. But if you do the good turn, you'll find yourself disliking him less. We are obliged to love one another. We are not strictly bound to like one another. To love one's neighbor is the one loves enemies to love everything, to love God and all his manifestations. Humans to serve the love and the loves who loves dear. Love is from which we were born with. Fear is from which we learned here. Understanding is the essence of love. 
The higher animals are in the sense of drawn into the man from who loves them and makes them as he does. Much more, much more humans do than otherwise be. He is a lover of his brother, abideth in the light, and there is none occasion of stumbling into him. Beloved, let love love one another, for love is God. And every time one love is born of God, then knoweth God. We're born alone, we live alone, we die alone. Only through love and friendship can we create the illusions of moment for moment that we're not alone. Love and work are the cornerstones of our humanness. The best portion of a good man's life is his little nameless, unremembered acts of kindness and his love. The things of beauty of joy are forever. Its loneliness is increases. It never passes into nothingness. God loves us the way that we are, but too much leaves us the way. Though our feelings come and go, God's love for us does not. Love is the fruit and seasons of all times, and within reach of the very hand. All wise people say the same thing, that you're deserving of love, that here and now, everything you need, when you want to pray, and starting in a conversation from scratch, just remembering to plug back into the conversations that's always in progress. Speak to me, my love, said Saint Francois, to the almond tree, and the tree blossomed. Chapter 10. Life. The greatest gift of each is to receive when we are born to the gift of life. Regardless of how many days we were granted, life is much sweeter than the gift of love. Life itself, whether we were given to the receiver. At the heart of this love is love itself. Joy to fear, often to hard to maintain. In the face of life, daily grind. We can stop and look around, to seek it out, and love really is to be everywhere. In life, there's a single color, artist's palette, which provides the meaning of life in art itself. It's the color of love. Dost thou love life? Do not squander time, for that is the stuff that life is made of. Keep a lover in your heart, and the love, a life without, without it, is like sunless gardens with the flowers, and the flowers are dead. To fear love is to fear life, and those who fear life are already three parts dead. We are most alive when we are in love. One human being to love another is perhaps the most difficult of our tasks. The ultimate is to last test proof the work from which all other work is but preparation. And whenever it is that we keep widening our heart, that's Mary too. Only the power inside of you is but to love. And when you get down to it, the purpose is to grant for a human life. Where there is love, there is life. Loving people in this loving world, hostile people in a hostile world. It's usually the same world. Neither a lofty degree of intelligence, nor imagination, nor bother together to go of making of a genius. Love, 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 love. That is the soul of a genius. Love is like pie, natural, irrational, and very important. We've got this gift of love, but love is so precious like a plant. We can't just accept it and leave it in the cupboard just as we think it's going to get on by itself. You've got to keep watering it. You've got to keep really looking after it and nurture it. One the world really needs more love is less paperwork. I love humanity, but I hate people. To live is to like to love and all reasons against it and all healthy instincts for it. Life without love is like a tree without blossoms and fruit. Love looks through the telescope and envy looks through a microscope. In the arithmetic of love, one plus one equals everything and two minus one equals nothing. There is only one happiness in life, to love and to be loved. To love meaning not to impose of your own powers on your fellow man, but to offer him love and help. And to refuse it, to be proud, that is what you call love and strength. Love is like the truth, sometimes it prevails, sometimes it hurts. Love is the master key which opens the gates of happiness. The one thing that we can never get along enough of in life is love. The one thing we never give enough of is love. There can be no peace of mind in love since the advantage of one has secured is never anything by fresh starting point for further desires. What I cannot love I overlook. And a loving relationship is one from which the loved one is free to be himself, to laugh with me, to never laugh at me, to cry with me, but never cry because of me, to love life and to love himself, to love being loved. Such a relationship is based upon freedom, and I can never grow, and can never grow, in a jealous heart. Love is a canvas finishing the nature of embroidered imagination. Have I told you about the tensions of opposites, he says? The tensions of opposites? Life is a series of poles, a back and forth. Want to do one thing, bound to do something else. Something hurts you, someone hurts you. Why? You shouldn't do it. You should take certain things for granted. You should take certain things for granted. You should know when you should never have anything for granted. Tensions of opposites like pulling to a rubber band. In most of our life, somewhere in the middle, sounds like a wrestling match, I say. A wrestling match, he laughs. Yes, you could describe life that way. So which side wins, I ask? Which side wins? He smiles at me, crinkled eyes and crooked teeth. Love wins. Love always wins. Love is the only sane, sad, satisfactory answer to the problem of human existence. We all are all born of love. It is the principle of existence, and it's its only end. 
Love is the only thing that we can carry with us when we go, and it makes the end so easy. Among the whom I like to admire, I like to find the common denominator among those whom I love. I can of all of them. They can make me laugh. Life isn't long enough for love and art. The essence of love is kindness. Love includes fellowship and the suffering, joy, and the efforts. When the power of love overcomes the love of power, the world will know peace. Love is anterior to life, posterior to death, initial to creation, and exponent of breath. Who will tell whether a happy moment is to love or enjoy the breathing of walking of bright mornings and smelling the fresh air, not from which suffering efforts from which life implies. Be glad of life because it gives you the chance to love, to work, to play, and to look up at the stars. Love is every the beginning of knowledge as a fire is to the light. Life is a common. Life is the common among people. Love is to each other the ideal of happiness. I wonder what memories you will have of yours will persist in as you go on through life. My hunch is that the most important that you'll have is the feelings of loving and being loved. Whoever's close to you, you continue to grow. You'll find many ways of expressing your love, and you'll discover more and more ways from which you can express love for you. When love is, no room is too small. If music is good for love, play on. Give an excess and suffering appetite. Many sicken and so die. The strain again, I've had dying falls. Oh, come on, my ears, sweet sound. They say a person needs just three things to be truly happy in the world. Someone to love, something to do, and someone to hope for. To live in this world, you must be able to do three things. To love what is mortal, to hold it against your bones, knowing you own your life's depending on it. And when time comes, to let it go and let it go. It is love, not reason, that's stronger than death. Love feels no burden, regards of labor, strives towards and attains and argues an impossibility, since it believes it can do all things. Therefore it avails for all things, fulfills and accomplishes much more. One not loves falls, and falls lies helpless. Love your neighbor and yourself, but don't take down the fence. There is no better exercise for strengthening the heart than reaching down and lifting up another. Love does not dominate, it cultivates. Love is, life is pain, and enjoyment of love is the anesthetic. Love is letting go of fear. If we all discover what we only have five minutes left to say that what we wanted to say, every telephone booth will be occupied by people calling other people to tell them how much they love them. Love doesn't make the world love doesn't make the world go round. Love is what makes the ride worthwhile. Age does not protect you from love, but love can some extent protect you from age. And remember, my sentimental friend, that heart is not judged by how much you love, but how much you love and how much you are loved by others. Love like the measles, all the worse when it comes late in life. Chapter 11, True Love You can't measure love, nor can you adequately describe it to another person, perhaps more than any other emotion. You know it when you feel it. You know that you found the soulmate. When you really want to do is spend the rest of your life with that someone. When you look at your child, when you look at your child, you just can breathe for the loving him and her, for your mind, your being, at the one from which you believe. This is the true love, the greatest love of all loves. True love is like ghosts, which everybody talks about and the few have seen. True love is eternal, infinite, and always like itself. It's equal and pure, without violent demonstrations. It's seen white hair and it's always young in the heart. Generally, it's by the time of a real most hairs have been loved off and your eye drops and you get loose in the joints and shabby, but it doesn't matter at all because once you have the real, the real, you can't be ugly except for the people who don't understand. All kinds of things and favorites of all glory and honors, beauties and wits, the sun itself makes time for the, for the past. It's elder the year from now from which you'll be the first one in another saw. All other things in destruction draw. Only for our loves hath decay, there hath no tomorrow, hath nor yesterday. Running as never runs from us away, but truly keeps his first everlasting day. Time is too slow for those who wait, too swift for those who fear, too long for those who grieve, too short for those who rejoice. But for those who love, time is eternity. Love looks nor in the eyes, but in the mind, and therefore in the winged cupid painted blind. True love brings everything. You're always allowed in the mirror to be held up into the daily. Perfect love, and rare indeed, for those of the lover require continually, from the, subtle, the subtlety of very wise and flexibility of the child, sensitivity of the artist, understanding of the philosopher, the acceptance of the saint, tolerance of the scholar, and the fortitude of the certain. The course of true love never did run smooth. True love is night jasmine, diamond in a darkness, heartbeat in a cardiologist has ever heard. It is the most common of miracles, fashion fleecing clouds, handful of stars, tossed into the night sky. Love. Some love lasts a lifetime. True love lasts forever. What in the heart gives away is never gone. It's kept in the hearts of others. Being deeply loved by someone gives you strength, while loving someone deeply gives you courage. 
Love me without fear. Trust me without questioning, demanding, without restrictions. Accept me without, ch without change. Desire me without inhibitions. For a love so free will never fly away. The Eskimo has 52 names for the snow because it's important to them that there ought to be many for love. A romp in the hay lingers from the first in the song. Love is the one that makes a life and the right more than just a line about. It writes a whole book. The greatest happiness in life is the conviction from which we are loved, loved ourselves, and rather loved in spite of ourselves. And I love thee, I love but thee, with a love that shall not, shall not die, till the sun grows cold and the stars grow old. I told you I would always come for you. Why didn't you wait for me? Well, you were dead. Death cannot stop true love. All it can do is delay it for a while. The Princess Bride True love is the only heart disease and the best left to run on. The only affection on the heart from which there is no help and none desired. True love is a gift from God given to a man alone beneath the heaven. It is a fantasy hot fire whose wishes soon a gratified fly to live with not in fierce desire. To love and to be loved so fill the sun from both sides. Do you want me to tell you something really subversive? Love is everything that's cracked up to be. It is. That's why people are so cynical about it. It's really worth fighting for, being brave for, risking everything for. The trouble is, is you don't risk everything, then you risk even more. The best and most beautiful thing in the world cannot be seen or even touched. It must be felt with the heart. Love thee to the depth of the breath and the height of the soul and the height that the soul can reach. The truth is that there's only a terminal dignity love. The story of love is not important, but the important is, is being capable of love. Perhaps the only glimpse that we're permitted to eternity. Love is always bestowed as a gift, freely willing and without expectation. We don't love to be loved. We love to love. The chemist who can extract from his heart's elements compassion, respect, longing, patience, regret, surprise, and forgiveness in the compound from them into can create an atom which is called love. True love cannot be found. It truly does not exist. Nor can it be hidden where it truly does. Love conquers all. True love begins when nothing is looked for in the return. The Book of Love. Love Quotations and Phrases.